So this is just kind of a call for help uh, to try to find a better way to press my milled apples. This is the press I've been using. It was uh, made by um, a friend of my, my wife's uh, who has let me borrow it for the past couple of years, and it's, it's served um, pretty well. It's pretty good for doing small batches like this. Um, a gallon and a half, I can usually load up about six or seven gallons of milled apples, and I can press out a gallon and a half or two gallons. But to get a five gallon batch like this guy, I need uh, to load this thing up probably three times. It holds probably nine gallons, so that's Oh, let's see, loading up 27 gallons of milled apples um, to get five. That's not very good at all. Uh, it's probably le it's less than 30% yield off the juice, and I want to get more like 50. Um, so th this is what I have. I need, to, I need to find an improvement on this. It's just kind of a standard basket press with a press plate, um, and it's driven by a screw. The problem with this is it's not really stable. You can see that as I press it, this thing starts to kind of angle off to one side, which means that it doesn't really press directly down on the press plate. Um, and then the part that contacts the press plate is just this little uh, little tip here. So it's just, it's really not stable. Um, I can't really get a lot of pressure. And then the last thing is this piece starts to bow up as I get really as it really screws down so uh, there's a few problems with it uh, I need to find something slightly better fast because I've got about 800 pounds of apples uh, in the garage back here um, that I need to press pronto so that's what I've got um, uh, I, I could use something of, of similar size but it needs to be a little bit more robust um, I need to fill up probably 10 more of these guys. So uh, doing 30 presses is kind of a lot. If I can get a better yield, I can probably cut that about in half. So it's going to be a lot less work, and I'm going to get a lot more juice from my apples. So that's the situation. Um, if anybody can help me, let me know.